director of Borrelia, and I just I'm really really enjoying the fact that all of you can be here tonight. Um, I'd like to thank a few people. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank my partner Jason, who has helped me to develop and refine the concept for Borrelia, and who, and who launched it with me, and who has been an invaluable help throughout this whole process. Um, I would like to thank my parents for stimulating such an inspired kind of feeling for art, for dance, for theater, for movement from very, very early on. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> and they're here today. They're here today. Um, I'd also like to thank all our core consultants, um, Alejandra, Ian, Andrew, Sarah, and Jason. Um, all of you are like my little family, and I love you very, very much. And of course, all our amazing guests today. You'll hear from all of our consultants today. They'll tell you a little bit about themselves and what they do. Um, so at Morelia, we're a hub. What we do, we're driven by a deep interest in dance, in psychology, and philosophy. We're here to celebrate the launch of our hub, finally, uh, and the launch of our brand new website, which I encourage you to check out. So tonight is really about celebration. Tonight is about connection. Throughout the evening, you'll be invited to be engaged with art and dance in new ways. So I encourage you to do that. And perhaps you have an idea. Perhaps there's a dream you've always wanted to realize. An art series, an event, a performance, a project. And if you do, tell us about it. And perhaps we can help. Um, but first, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what inspires us at Morelia and what we're all about. Um, so with philosophy, of course, Nietzsche comes to mind, obviously. Um, and Nietzsche knew the value of art, and he kind of strove for a position of an artist and a philosopher. He strove to be a musician, and he failed at that task, unfortunately. So he made art with words, and that's very obvious when you read his writing. It blossoms, it's poetic, it springs off the page. At Borrelia, we also make art. We make art with words, we make art with movement, we make art with running our fingers through wet paint on a blank canvas for the very first time. We make art by showing something, something true and something real, something vulnerable, to one another. We're not here just to make art, however. We believe that art and dance have a great power. Um, as humans, we all have to face issues of loss, mortality, and pain. And we believe that art and dance can be those things that help us connect and help us overcome whether it's stress or something else that's difficult that we're dealing with. Our philosophy is very much unapologetically existential. We look to the present moment to make meaning. Our psychology is that of a whole complex person. As a psychologist and a scientist, I know that the resilience we have is nurtured in the psychotherapy relationship, but that's not the only place where resilience grows. It also grows when you watch a dancer move and something when you moves with them. It grows when you look into the eyes of a stranger and you see tears in their eyes because they were moved by a photograph that you and them just saw together. So we really invite you to find ways that art, dance, and psychology can connect you. We're not here to be perfect. We're unapologetically imperfect and human. But we strive for excellence. Uh, one of the ways that we hope to connect people is through putting on events small events like this, but also bigger events with performances showing new artworks, new dance works, with workshops that will integrate psychology with dance, psychology with visual art, psychology with photography, or perhaps something else, something that we haven't even thought of. Perhaps you have ideas as well. And we also want to help bring community organizations together, community organizations that really work towards enhancing mental health and connect them. Art and dance are not always used in authentic ways. Anything human can become corrupted. A really good example of that was a film that we saw uh, not very long ago at the Vancouver International Film Festival called The Bolshoi. For those of you who don't know what The Bolshoi is, it is a very famous theater in, Mo in Moscow, Russia, which is the most sort of prized place, considered most, one of the most prestigious places to dance. So at this film called The Bolshoi, there was a lot of different experiences of Russian uh, young ballerinas training and kind of vying for that coveted job. And the film was excellent because it really showed um, both people's authentic strivings and dreams and hopes and friendships, but also the sad reality, the corruption, the things that can happen to art with objectification and oppression and injustice. And one of the lines from the film that really kind of illustrates that is one of the teachers, ballet teachers saying, 
In ballet, you're nothing until you prove yourself. This, is not, this does not represent all ballet, and it's important to remember that. We do not all think that way. And while I respect the enormous work it takes for someone to dance at the Bolshoi, I know that I, too, have a Bolshoi within me. And you, too, have a Bolshoi within you. The most respected place to dance is not a place at all. The most respected place to dance is your mind, your feeling, moving body, and the spaces between you and I where we can create and move and dance together. At my Bolshoi, there are no additions. There's nothing to prove. Inherently, your movement and feelings are real and valued. Form does not supersede humanity. Your athleticism is respected, but not used to disrespect others. In my Bolshoi, there's a place where all can dance, all can feel, all can connect and get inspired. What is your Bolshoi? We hope that you can find it. We hope that we are part of helping you find it and help others find it also.